Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Nano Speedy, everything that I found out after owning the bag, is it worth it, uh, the pros and cons, what fits inside, that and more. Here she is, she is stunning. When I first saw this handbag online I felt head over heels, I could not wait to have it in my collection and it was sold out everywhere, everyone was looking for it, we all wanted it and it was impossible to get and you know what happens, it makes us want it even, even more. So that was the case, I told my essay at Louis Vuitton that I really wanted it and I got the call one day and I purchased it right before the price increase. It now retails for 890 euros and when I purchased it, it was 810 euros. So it had an 80 euro price increase in like the period of a week and I was lucky, I guess. So the measurements, it's 16 centimeters across, 12.5 centimeters height and then 10 centimeters uh, depth or width and it does have a pet peeve of mine and I guess it's a pet peeve of a lot of people a shoulder strap which is not adjustable or removable and this is why I'm just gonna tell it right now I'm considering selling it cutting the strap off please help me comment down below do you have this handbag uh, do you find the same that the shoulder strap gets in the way um, did you sell it? Because I know some of the YouTubers that had it just recently sold it. And did you cut? It? Did you really were brave enough to cut the strap? I digress. So this strap, not removable. It has the uh, D-ring there, but it's not removable, nor is it adjustable. But for my height, I kind of can get away with it crossbody, not as much as a shoulder bag. The thing is, if you want to tuck the strap inside it gets all squished and all you see deformed mine has been sitting on a shelf away from sunlight so no patina no nothing brand new i've never never used it and it's been sitting on a shelf because i want to use it i don't want to sell it to be honest i just want to see if i do grab it and start using it because it it took so long to find it and now it makes no sense to me why I don't use it. Well, it does because the major, major con, in my opinion, like I mentioned, and I'll mention it again, it's the strap. And if you want to tuck it inside, as I was saying, it gets all squished. So let me just move back. The strap drop, it's 55 centimeters and I'll insert some mod shots of me wearing it. Um, it does sit nicely crossbody, but that's pretty much the only way I can wear this bag because otherwise it doesn't fit in the crook of your arm that comfortably. It's just like a little, <laughs> what you call it, a wristlet <laughs> kind of a situation. So it's either top handle or crossbody on me and I would much prefer if I could take the strap and have a different strap that I could either wear on my shoulder or make it a proper top handle and that's why I'm debating keeping it or not keeping it. It is beautifully made. The interior is just an empty compartment and I will show you what fits inside in just a moment and mine it's made in France if that will focus. There we go, and it's beautifully made for such a petite piece. The craftsmanship is just amazing, the double stitching and the shoulder strap, all the details. You still have like the original Speedy, you still have in there, focus, oh god, there we go. You still have LV engraving in the little ringlets and it's such a tiny beautiful piece and it does fit more than i anticipated it's just this pet peeve of mine <laughs> i'll not keep mentioning it i promise but it is the, the thing that makes me consider selling it like the traditional speedy it is one piece of canvas that goes all the way around so on the other side the canvas or the monogram is upside down and then you have the lining or the piping on the sides 
on each side there. This one does not come with the lock, which is a shame. The vintage one that was with no strap did, but Louis Vuitton reinvented the style. I'm waiting for them to do a in-between uh, Nano and the um, 25 Speedy, maybe like they did in the Empreinte leather. That would be a perfect size and hopefully last time, I promise, maybe <laughs> with a removable shoulder strap. To show you what it fits inside, and I'm sure you are curious, I was too, before purchasing this item, if the mini pochette also from Louis Vuitton fits inside, and it does, you just have to get it in at an angle and then slot it there, and it does fit perfectly inside. So even with the mini pochette there, you can get your pochette clay or key pouch, put it on the side and you can take this on and off without the mini pochette being on the way of that. So if you want to have the, your mini pochette just with your essentials and something that you will just grab if you have to. And also you can, let me see if I can show you that, you can open the zipper of your mini pochette and access whatever you have inside of it without taking it off and on from the handbag if that makes any sense so you can access your everyday necessities makeup whatever you have in your mini pochette without taking it from inside of the nano speedy so that's very useful and helpful because the opening is quite generous for a speedy i mean you can also fit a mini wallet or a card holder. This is my Chanel card holder and it's quite bulky and that still also fits very comfortably inside. Let me just close my mini pochette because now you can see all my toiletries there. But yes, that also fits there perfectly. What else do you need inside of your mini handbag, your phone, mine is the iPhone 11 Pro, the normal, not the max, and it does fit inside, but like the mini pochette, because of the opening of the bag, you have to angle it ever so slightly. You can almost fit it straight in, but you have to wiggle it a little bit, and that also fits perfectly. If you follow my channel, you know I can't go anywhere without my sunglasses, so I have them here. These are my, sorry, it's getting tangled, my Louis Vuitton uh, cat eye sunglasses in a soft case. Trying to do this with one hand, not very practical. Yes, we can do it. <laughs> yes, in the soft case, they can rest on top of everything. Uh, there comfortably you can even if you want to wiggle it around and put it on the side there and you have a nice chubby speedy let me just close the zipper and see nothing is bulging out there's still room if you need your car keys and all of that. I keep forgetting that I also need my car keys whenever I go out, but there's plenty of room. And since it's very round bag, you have all your items and you can access each item without moving the other ones too much around. Can you see? I have my, my sunglasses, my phone, my mini pochette. That one, if you have to take it out, it does requires some wiggle and maneuvering, but like I mentioned, you can just open the zipper and access the things inside it. Then I have my card holder and my pochette clay there, and all of those items I can comfortably just take out and put back in because it is so chubby and <laughs> malleable. You know canvas, I love canvas, and that's why I'm struggling with this handbag because for a mini handbag, it does fit a lot. I can do a comparison if you like 
please comment down below if you'd like me to do a comparison of size maybe with the Alma BB or the Pochette Accessoire, whatever would you prefer or if both of them, just leave in the comments down below if you'd like to see a comparison of what fits inside and how I use them all. But yeah, it's so, so roomy and it's not, it's not heavy because it's canvas. The canvas material makes it super light and then even with all these inside of it, it's super roomy and comfortable. What I also love about it and continuing with the pros being the massive con see it wasn't the last time the shoulder strap one of the biggest pros it is that the handles do collapse down so when you're wearing it cross body they sit flat and it's very comfortable instead of just sitting higher up you can if you want to you can make them sit high but i prefer when they just collapse and you have this mini little handbag cross body super super comfortable and hands free since I'm quite on the petite size, I'm five foot two ish as a shoulder bag. This one doesn't really work for me. I think it sits way, way too low for me to grab. Let me just put it there. I'll insert mod shots. But for me to grab my things, well, it's not the lowest and the most uncomfortable, but I still prefer um, other bags as a shoulder bag and I prefer a higher shoulder length and also for crossbody i do prefer a higher crossbody but it does it does work to be honest it does work it doesn't it doesn't upset me too much what does really really upset me is the fact i'll say it again let's let's do a drinking game every time i say the shoulder strap is not removable or uh, adjustable yes that's that's my pet peeve with it and oh god look at that patina so light and so new i don't know help me make a decision share your pros and cons of this beauty down in the description box what do you love about it what would you change do you get used to the shoulder strap another thing that i noticed with the shoulder strap is that sometimes when you flip it over it doesn't go back to its normal position it just sits to a side maybe that's just mine but it does that can you see and i don't know <laughs> i'm obsessing with it let me know in the comments down below do you get past the shoulder strap people that sold uh theirs do share why did you sell it why did you make that decision people that love it why do you love it i don't know let's um all get into this forum about the nano speedy i'm trying to reach for it i do have other monogram pieces and i still love monogram i don't think it's going anywhere and it's a classic and it's harder and harder to get these days so that's one of the reasons why i'm thinking keep it in my collection uh and maybe get a would you know actually would you know and could you please share down below of a place like proper professional i don't i don't think i have the courage to do it at home do you know of a place preferably in europe where i live um that could remove the strap and then attach a d-ring to it because i'm just afraid that i might butcher it and i'm not really worried if i do take the strap or remove the strap or make it removable i won't be worried about resale value or any of that because then I'm sure I'll use it more and I'll enjoy it more. I don't know. I don't want to ramble too, too much more. And if you enjoyed this mini review of this mini, or better yet, Nano Speedy, do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, all that jazz, and I'll see you, my darlings, in the next one. Mwah.